Could it be that some of you are not acquainted with the story of Rudolph? Well, pull up an ice block and lend an ear. Today's Christmas video, we're going to be checking out a couple of misfits as we have a look at the Funko Rudolph, the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Rudolph, and Hermie vinyls. I suppose the first thing we'll do is take the Ultra Measuretron and take it to the right of the top of Rudolph's ear. Probably be the best place to figure out how tall this vinyl figure is. Even though he is a little on the small side, you're looking at four inches exactly, which in centimeters translates to be uh, 10.2 centimeters. Uh, switch that back over to inches and take it right to the top of Hermes', Hermes hat which I think is about, it's about there. I mean, obviously you can look at the two and know that Hermie is a lot taller than Rudolph, but 5.8 inches to be exact. Centimeters, the Ultra Measuretron tells us that Hermie stands at 4, 14, 14.9 14 centimeters tall. Both the vinyls do come with their supplied clear stands. Now, far be it for me to point out something, but I can't help but notice the placement where they put the peg on the display stand. I guess that's the best place they could have put it, considering that Rudolph is in a sitting position, but, you know, kind of, could there not have been another place where we, okay, I'm not gonna, it's awfully childish to be looking at and drawing attention to that, but I felt the need just to mention it, nonetheless. Hermie also comes with a display stand, which, uh, Obviously, it's not pl plugged into his bum, but plugged into instead the heel of his foot, his elf feet. The pegs also look like they are the exact same, so you could, in theory, swap them out. You're not going to have any stumbling block. Oh, right in the bum. Okay, actually, you know what? Why don't we start with Rudolph, and then we'll work our way to Hermie. And for that, I'm just going to take the display stand off, because we really don't need it for the time being. Somebody may have also yelled from the back of the audience, does Rudolph stand on his own? The answer is an astounding, very obviously, no. He, his head is way too big. His little uh, re reindeer legs are just way too small, and he really doesn't have enough butt print to give him enough sufficient standing. As a result, he does fall over. Now, here we have young Rudolph, kind of at the beginning, I suppose. He doesn't have his full antlers yet. What is quite obvious is his big red nose. I suppose as a little added bonus, Funko, not that Funko includes added bonuses, but I'm just trying to think outside the box. They could have also included a little mud cap that they could have put over top of Rudolph's nose. But nonetheless, a cute little rendition of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I am surprised that they put him in the sitting position as opposed to having him stand. But I guess for how much space a vinyl needs to occupy, it's generally about the head down. And you really wouldn't want to have it further out. Although, in future videos, there's a uh, job of the hut that we're going to have a look at. Not really Christmas related, but uh, he's considerably bigger than a, a standard vinyl figure. But I do like the head sculpt here. you got the little glimmer of light reflecting off of Rudolph's eyes. A little mouth happening right there as well. A paint's not too, too bad. I don't have a lot of real problems with the paint. Kind of looks in some areas like his his fur, or of course the sculpt, has been slightly marred. I, it looks like it's almost been chewed up and attacked by a rabid dog. Uh, paint on the back on his tail is pretty good. Not too, too bad. Even if it's slightly off, you could really just chalk it up to the fact that the fur... You know, being that fur spreads the hairs and stuff like that, it looked like it could just be like the, the hairs of the, of the fur. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, paint, if you look at it, the head is a lot smoother, a lot more matte than the shininess of his lower half. I don't know, this seems to be consistent with the way that Funko has done a lot of their vinyls, where, like, 
things that are supposed to be like the same color ultimately don't look the same color because the plastic they use for one, as you can see, is reflective. And the top of the head is more like matte. So it's a, it's a shame that the two don't quite line up, but I mean, certainly from a distance, you're really not gonna notice it too much. He does have posability and it's solely just in his head. And that's really all he does. Could he have lit up? Yeah, sure. I mean, what other Christmas wishes would you like this year? Funko's really not gonna invest in light up noses. Although a light up nose really certainly could have added some extra umph to this figure. Maybe if they even scaled up the vinyl figures to maybe being, you know, a considerably much bigger Rudolph, then sure, why not? Add a light up nose. I would be on, by the way, on that list, the good list, I guess the nice list of people that would definitely want a larger scale vinyl of Rudolph, just FYI, I'm just throwing it out there. Funko, not that you're watching, but just FYI. We'll take off the, the clear stand and we'll have a look at Hermie who just wants to be a dentist. There he is with his little dentistry book. I think he actually looks quite good for vinyls, which are usually more slightly simplistic. I have to say that it does still look a lot like Hermie. Nice job. Here, of course, he doesn't have his arms draped to the side as they've done with often some of the Funko vinyls. Instead, he's actually got his arms wrapped around giving giving love to the little dentistry book, which of course is his one profession he wants to pursue and not so much be a dentist. Um, face is nicely cleanly painted, nice quaff of hair, little wave of hair there on the front of his, of his head. And of course he's got the little elf hat, which cannot be removed. It's just permanently affixed there with the little feather sticking out the top. Paint very nicely, very cleanly applied, at least here and here. The white, you know, is notorious. Anytime you use white paint, there's always gonna be a part where something is bleeding through because they almost could have used a secondary coat of paint. The second paint coating guy clearly has gone on for his lunch because he could have gone back and finished that up. Maybe a one more swipe would have cleaned that up a little bit better. Um, I also don't know what's really happening up here. It almost looks like it's been scratched, but that's just the way it's been produced. At least at the very least from the front, it's not terrible. I feel as if there was a Yukon Cornelius. I believe one of the viewers actually had even commented that there was a Yukon Cornelius vinyl figure. I'm definitely gonna have to scope that one out. But in the meantime, Hermes articulation would be pretty much the exact same as Rudolph, just a head rotation. And that's all you're gonna get with these vinyl figures, but that's perfectly fine. At the very least, I would take a swiveling head to some of the other vinyl outings that they've released in which the characters do have uh, bobbleheads, which I'm not really too crazy when it comes to bobbleheads. I like these characters quite a bit. Certainly it's contenders for something that could make their appearances every year at this time of year. Uh, when I put out my Christmas decorations, I would certainly love to get more Funko vinyl Christmas themed characters as something I could put out every single year on my mantle. Fame and fortune are what these two misfits sought for in their adventures in the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas special. And I guess to some extent, both found fame. I don't know about fortune. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I would imagine, get paid very little from Santa Claus. No offense to Santa Claus being the employer, but I'm imagining Rudolph probably just gets his standard fare of reindeer feed. At the very least, Hermie probably sourced out his trades and became the dentist for the, the North Pole. So at the very least, he found fortune and then both of them found fame. These are some great collectibles from the folks over at Funko. Something that certainly could be a number one contender for th something I'm gonna put out every single year on my mantle, which will probably be a considerable amount of different collectibles as you probably already seen over these reviews. There's a lot of stuff that I'm probably gonna to wanna to be putting out every single year, and these ones being no exception. Now some good news though for fans of Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer is these have just hit somewhat just hit. They're now at comic book stores right now. So if you guys are interested in picking these ones up and putting them on display, even though you only have a couple more days to do it, and stores are probably insanely busy right now, but these guys at the very least are available if you guys want to pick them up for yourself. Today, once again, we were having a look at the Funko Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This was the vinyls of Rudolph and Hermie the Elf. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, Bunkos, because certainly, even though we are coming down to the wire, and this wire is mighty thin. Uh, we are still gonna have a look at some more Christmas goodies lined up for the rest of December. I think at the very least, even if I surpass that cutoff time of Christmas, 
probably still see a few Christmas va videos trickling their way onto this channel, among uh, certainly, of course, other things as well, because I know you guys want to see other things as well. It's not just all Christmas. Some people, of course, come to this channel during the Christmas season and during the Halloween season for my holiday-themed videos. Thank you for doing that, by the way. That, that does mean a lot. Either way, though, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below and make sure as well, if you want to check out some more holiday goodies, why not check out my Christmas Spots playlist? It shows every single thing that I've reviewed every single year, and it's all in one place. Easy to find, easy to watch, easy to sit down with and veg out, if you will, on the couch. If you guys want to like binge watch videos on this channel, that's a crazy thought, but some of you guys like to do that, and I thank you for that. Uh, in the meantime as well, also, I don't know what kind of time frame we're working at with here, but if this happens to be your last Christmas video, that you guys watch before Christmas comes around. I just want to also say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays from this family, from my family to yours. I hope everyone has a safe and happy holidays with friends and loved ones, and uh, hopefully they ring in the holiday season safe and happy. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>